The vote to certify the 2020 presidential election was supposed to be procedural and uneventful. But President Donald Trump had been lying for months that the election was stolen. He wanted Vice President Mike Pence to reject Joe Biden's victory when Pence presided over the electoral vote count. Trump held a rally near the White House at noon. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. And we're going to the Capitol. A wave of Trump supporters surged down Pennsylvania Avenue. They pushed past barriers on the Capitol grounds. Police were outnumbered. Men in militia-style gear directed protesters toward an unguarded side of the Capitol. They chanted, hang Mike Pence and F Biden. The rioters attacked police. They crawled up scaffolding erected for Biden's inauguration and scaled walls. At 2.11 p.m., attackers used lumber and a police shield to break a window. The Capitol had been breached. The Secret Service evacuated Pence and his family from the Senate chamber, missing the mob by seconds. Capitol Police told lawmakers to put on gas masks. As rioter Ashley Babbitt tried to break into the Speaker's lobby next to the House chamber, police shot and killed her. The marauders broke into offices, shattering windows and smashing furniture. Police battled the attackers in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Lawmakers begged President Trump to call off his supporters. For more than three hours, Trump did nothing. After 4 p.m., President-elect Joe Biden appeared on TV, condemning the attack and calling on Trump to demand that the siege end. Go on national television now. About 10 minutes later, Trump finally posted a recorded video on Twitter. While he told supporters to go home, he focused on repeating his lie that the election was stolen and praised the very supporters attacking the United States Capitol. We love you. You're very special. Meanwhile, officers were still being assaulted, beaten, and crushed. It was after 6 o'clock when the rioters were kicked out of the Capitol. An hour later, the building was secured. At 8.06 p.m., lawmakers had returned, and Vice President Pence gaveled the session back in. It was after 3 o'clock in the morning when the election was finally certified. The Capitol suffered more than $1.5 million in damage. Five people died, including one police officer. Another 140 officers were injured. And four officers who defended the Capitol killed themselves in the following months.